the mayor of Philadelphia, Jim Kenney, has proposed a soda tax. And this proposal has recently gained some national attention. Um, so what this proposal is meant to achieve is a way to fund universal preschool education in Philadelphia. So the Democratic candidates in particular uh, differ on this proposal. Uh, Bernie Sanders uh, opposes this proposal and Hillary Clinton supports it. So what are the details behind this tax, this soda tax? Well, first, um, Berkeley, California is the only city to enact such a drink tax. Um, what they do is they tax distributors of sodas and similar drinks uh, one cent per ounce. Now, studies have shown that uh, this uh, cost gets shifted uh, to the consumer. A Cornell study uh, found that 25% of the cost gets shifted to the consumer. Another study done by UC Berkeley says it goes up to as much as 50 to 70%. Wow, okay. So, all right, so th this is the big difference in th the way Bernie Sanders opposes it and Hillary Clinton supports it. Bernie Sanders says this tax is regressive and that it will disproportionately hit lower income families. And, you know, that's not good because there's no benefit to it affecting the people that need a break and relief. They don't need more taxes. So that's why he opposes it. He now, instead wants to tax wealthier individuals to achieve universal preschool education. I'm not going to say that Kenny's proposal it was meant to be a uh, kind of a tax on you know the people that needed the most right. I'm not saying I'm not gonna you know speculate whether it was a kind of purposeful mm -hmm. but I will say just using sheer common sense that if they're having trouble funding school already right. that means they're not extracting enough tax dollars right, right? Mm -hmm. so if uh, this soda tax will then uh, extract tax dollars from the people uh, that need the education in the first place or that whose taxes can't fund the education all he is doing is essentially almost sh shifting the burden mm -hmm. like they already can't afford it right mm -hmm. now they're already right. having trouble uh, and Any I'm pretty sure the areas that will be affected the most mm -hmm. Uh, those people will be the ones paying for it through this tax. Mm -hmm. So how is, how is that community coming out on top? And like you said, uh, Berkeley, California, that's the only example that we have in the nation. And in that example, it is a regressive tax and it is hitting the people where you would think you don't want to hit. <laughs> you know, you, you would think that this would be a way to improve the lives of the people that you say you want to improve the lives for, you know? Like, talking about Hillary Clinton? Yeah. Oh. So yeah, th this is an interesting, I guess this is a very interesting position for Hillary Clinton to take. Because this tax is regressive. It will hit lower income she doesn't, people. She doesn't think so. She, she doesn't think so. But she also believes that she wants to give the middle class and you know poor people a pay raise they don't need more taxes that's why she's hit bernie sanders on raising taxes you know for for health care and stuff are you talk, like you, that. are you referencing the family leave yes thing? okay so look there there is a bill in congress right now that was proposed by or that was introduced by senator kirsten uh gillibrand right uh and this was for paid family leave now, Bernie Sanders supports this bill, but Hillary Clinton does not. And why Hillary Clinton does not is because it will tax everybody. It'll hit everybody, right? But it will actually benefit everybody. Right? They will see a direct, right. a direct uh, benefit, benefit yeah. monetary right. benefit. Right, they will. So the reason why she doesn't support it is because it will tax everybody. And she believes that we don't need to tax lower income and middle middle income families we need to tax the wealthiest of americans now we disagree on that specific proposal because if taxes are lowered then that means the well could dry up and this family leave you know it won't be funded anymore it could go away right 
So it's interesting that on that subject, she's like, no, no new taxes for middle income and poor people. No, I don't want to. They need to pay raise. Yeah, they said we don't need to be taking money away from them. Right. But then she supports the soda tax that will directly hit the lower income people. What? You, you remember that hashtag with Hillary? You remember that? Mm hmm. Wh- which one? Wh- wh- which one are you? You you want to hit lower income people or you don't? Dude, I don't even think she even knows. Does she even know? 